Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about one important topic in C programming that is a type conversion. So here the type conversion means the name itself indicates. So if you want to change a one data type to another data type, we'll go with this type conversion. So this is mainly converting one data type, one data type to another data type, to another data type. So why need why we need to convert this uh, one data type to another data type? So here, if if our expression is having a multiple data types, so then what the compiler will do? That means, for example, based upon the memory occupied by our data type, that means if you consider the character, it occupies a one byte of memory, and if you observe this integer, so if it is a sixteen bit compiler, it will take some two bytes of memory or a Two bytes, or uh, if it is a thirty-two bit compiler, it will be a four byte memory. But it is longer than the character. And consider a float. So it again it it requires a four bytes of memory. And if you consider the double, it requires some eight bytes of memory. Eight bytes of memory. So here you can observe based upon the memory. So this is in an increasing order. That means low to High. So the same thing we'll consider this as a priority, priority, right? So lower data type and higher data type. So the lower data type is a character and the higher data type is a double. Okay. So apart from this, we can also use the modifiers. We know the modifiers: short, long, unsigned, and signed. So we can also consider them and we can apply the chart. But this low to high depends upon the memory occupied. By the data type, memory occupied by the data type. So even though if you are using any modifiers, right? Now, this conversion is converting from one data type to another data type. And so you just observe this one. Just remember this one. And see, this conversion will be done in two ways. So first one is implicit, implicit type conversion. implicit type conversion and this is also called as automatic type conversion automatic type conversion right and one more important point this is done by compiler so the user need not do anything so the compiler will convert one data type to another data type right so for example consider uh, let it be I take the character data, character C H, and integer some A, right? So you can observe here. Consider the character as some A, and uh, the, uh, consider some B value. So B value as some ten. So if you add these two things, that means B plus C H, B plus C H. so here the b is a integer and ch is a character so we if we are applying the expression of two different data types right so now the what the compiler will do it will consider the low level data type and convert into integer so what happens here so b value is 10 plus a so this a will be con converted into integer that means integer value of a that means the ascii value so which is nothing but 97 so 10 plus 97 will be done and we'll get the result as so 107 right so here what happens the character is converted into integer because the same expression is having the two different data types integer and a float integer and a float right so this will be done by the compiler itself by the compiler itself right so hope you understood this one for example one more example consider int a is equal to 
एंड फ्लोट बी इज इक्वल टू ए सो ऑब्वियसली वट इज ए वैल्यू इंटीजर सो इंटीजर वैल्यू इज असाइनिंग टू द फ्लोट वेरिएबल सो दैट मीन्स लोअर लेवल डेटा टाइप इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू हायर डेटा टाइप सो देन ऑटोमेटिकली बी विल बी है Ten point zero, and this conversion will be done by the compiler. And this complete process we call it as an automatic type conversion or implicit type conversion. So once again, I'm repeating here. This is this process will be done by the compiler itself. So user will not do anything. So simply the if, if the user add the integer and the character, obviously the result will be the integer. That means the the result will be I mean the result of this particular expression will be in integer itself. right and this is done by the compiler now we will go with the second type second data type so i mean second type of conversion the second type of conversion is known as explicit type conversion so this is the second so explicit so here the name itself indicates the compiler will doesn't uh, do the conversion the user have to convert forcibly the user have to convert into a particular data type right see For example, and the syntax for this one, the syntax for this one is inside the parentheses, give the data type, the required data type into which we want to convert, and followed by the variable, followed by the variable. For example, consider the previous example. So int a is equal to some ten, okay, and float b is equal to some ten point five, okay. so we'll consider int a and 10.5 and if you trying to do float uh, some a is equal to b a is equal to b so that means a 10.5 should be stored into a right but a is of integer data type and this will be not done this will not be done and if you want to convert it we have to use a int Type casting, say right? int b. So automatically, whatever the value we are having on b, that means ten point five, that will be converted into integer that is a ten, and it will be stored into a. So that means in this explicit type conversion, there might be a loss of data. There might be a loss of data. Okay, and this is also known as this is also known as type casting operation. Type casting. So this is also called as type casting type casting right so type casting means by using the type cast operator type cast operator means this one this one is the type cast operator so so this is the type cast inside the parentheses we need to give the data type that is the type cast operator so explicitly the user have to use this type cast operator to convert the one data type to another data type so one more example i will i will tell you so if you consider the division of two integers right division of two integers for example int a is equal to some 10 and uh, integer b is equal to some 3 and if you are performing some a divided by b so that implies a 10 divided by 3 so you can observe here both are having the integer values okay both are having the integer values so obviously the result will be the integer right if the expression is having a multiple data type automatically whatever the highest data data type is involved in the expression the complete result will be converted into that particular highest data type so previously we have seen integer and character we are performing the addition automatically the character is converted into integer because in that complete expression integer is the highest data type but here we are having a two different data uh, two same data types 10 and 3 so obviously the result will be an integer so the result will be 3 in our c program right so if you want to get an accurate result but the correct result is 3.333 right according to the precision we'll get the value so if you want to get this one so at least a numerator and denominator should be the highest data type than the integer okay highest data type than integer so we need to convert the integer to either float or double that is done by this type cast operator right so 10 Divided by three, that means integer divided by integer. So result will be integer. If it is a float and integer, we will get a float as a result. And if it is a double and integer, we will get also 
float or a double the result will be float or a double right so that means the expression should have the highest value so if you want to get the accurate result either numerator or denominator should have the highest data type than the integer so that's why if you want to get this accurate result we have to use the typecast operator float a divided by b so then automatically this one happens so observe the uh, i mean recall the operator precedence so this parenthesis is having the highest precedence so first this will be evaluated so this one will be evaluated first so a value is 10 so we are forcibly we are converting this 10 into a float so automatically 10.0 if 10 if integer 10 is converted into a float 10 will be converted into 10.0 so if you divide it by 10.0 with a 3, so you can observe this is a float, this is a float and this one is an integer. So which is the highest value? So this one, right? Highest data type upon intent float based upon the memory. Once again, I'm repeating. So the category, the highest and lowest, that means the names, low, higher data type and lower data type will come based upon their memory allocation. So integer and float, the float will be having the highest category okay highest priority so the result will be in the float so obviously the result will be let it be 3 3 3 3 3 so based upon the precision it will be keep on keep on moving right so this type of conversion we call it as a explicit that means if it is explicit this should be done done by user so user have to do so with the help of the syntax parenthesis data type followed by the variable so we are forcibly converting one data type to another data type right so this is the second type of conversion that is an explicit data type explicit uh, type conversion right so we are having a two different data types so type conversion type casting both are different so if if it is a type conversion it is obviously it will be called as a implicit type conversion if it is called as a type casting it is nothing but a explicit type conversion and done by the user itself right so hope you understood this one so uh, if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much